for them. Walking in steadily, this field of 10. Uh, they're off. Starter Jason Callahan gets them away for the Peter Marsh chase. Shortish run to the first of 19 schedule fences. Sam Brown with the red sleeves is prominent, rising. Touchdown just about ahead. At the other end of the field, Royal Pagai has been dropped out at disputing last place, racing on the near side of one of the greys, Empire Steel. Brian Hughes aboard Empire Steel for Sandy Thompson. Empire Steel and Royal Pagai wanting no part of the early gallop. Sam Brown leads them around the paddock turn uh, with two circuits of the Haydock chase course ahead of them. Lord de Benil in the purple and yellow is just second. Sam's Adventure, the black and pink disputing third with remastered against the running rail, the yellow sleeves for Tom Scudamore. And then the lightest of the trio of greys, Lakeview Lad sitting in midfield. Another grey Kaluki at the fence, accompanied by Fortescue in the orange and green, and Al Nadam, the dark blue cap for Bridget Andrews, deeper. And a couple of lengths away to the final pair, Empire Steel and Royal Pagai in the Susanna Ritchie silks, the pink with the pale green spots at the second, and Lord de Menil uh, taking on Sam Brown, it'll separating them on landing, on towards the third, with Lakeview Lad, the nose bounded grey, getting a clear sight of the early fences. Disputing third there with Sam's Adventure. Empire Steel at the back of the field wasn't especially fluent, it's got clipped down the neck by Brian Hughes, still early days, but he's a couple of lengths adrift. Middle one in the back straight first time, Lord de Menil from Sam Brown. Uh, Sam's Adventure, who jumped off handily, has had to be kidded and cajoled along to go back up through the field in the sheepskin noseband. He's now back alongside Lakeview Lad. Almadam, the dark blue cap between them there. Empire Steelers again, the last to land, and Royal Pagai last but one, and they're heading to the final fence in the back straight, which is the first. The ditch is an Empire Steel has been taken out much wider uh, by Brian Hughes in rear. Lord de Benil over the ditch uh, with uh, Sam Brown. And then Sam's Adventure and the nose bounded grey Lakeview Lad and remastered the rail. Fortescue the orange cap, upsides Al Nadam, Kaluki in the blue and white on the inner. And then Royal Pagai and Empire Steel and they uh, run around towards the two mile point of this grade two. Peter Marsh chase, first run in 1981. It's got a long and illustrious roll of honor. Who can add their name to it this time around? Well, Lord de Menil who's turned himself into a bit of a Haydock specialist in recent years, is disputing it with Sam Brown, approaching the seventh. The nose-bounded Sam's Adventure tracks them with Lakeview Lad on the near side, remastered on the far side, and then Al Nadam and Fortescue, Kaluki, Empire Steel wide of Royal Pagai, who's very quietly ridden by Charlie Deutsch in the pearl wink silks, but he's no more than four lengths off the lead, second from the left, closing in on another open ditch, the eighth. Lord de Menil in the centre, Sam Brown on the right. It's a fairly well clustered up field. And the next plane fence brings them to the end of their first circuit. So Sam Brown and Lord de Menil, who've been pretty much the leading pair from the outset. Lord de Menil the quicker through the air uh, to Sam Brown. Fortescue is closer. Orange cap for Hugh Nugent, disputing third with remastered. Sam's adventure has gone a little in snatches, but he's still banged there in the noseband. Lake Hugh Lad on the near side of Al Nadam. And then Kaluki and Royal Pagai jumping well in rear, and Empire Steel remains last of all. So they've got one further circuit ahead of them, and they're scheduled to jump another nine. Lord de Menil and Sam Brown, inseparable under the judge uh, for the second time. Just shy of 30 miles an hour, these stayers going. Rounding the paddock turn, a couple of ends clear the leading duo. Have remastered in Sam's adventure. Lakeview Lad and Fortescue, Kaluki. Other of the greys, blue jacket on the inner. Sam's adventure got a livener there, just to remind him to go out and do it all over again. Roy Alpa guy continues to be ridden with exaggerated patience by Charlie Deutsch. He's against the rail in the last line of three with Al Nadam and Empire Steel, another of the greys out wide. Heading off down the back straight once again. Fence 11 is looming up now. Sam Brown, red cap, and Lord de Menil again almost as one as they touch down. One or two of these just intermittently coming off the bridle. Again, Sam's adventure has to be ridden. Moving on towards the 12th. Lord de Menil in the centre. 
Sam Brown on the near side. Four to skew the orange cap alongside remastered yellow sleeves. Tom Scudam while the brocade racing silks. Sam's adventures drop the law, I'm afraid now. And he's uh, fallen right back into last place. His stride shortening. He's becoming remote. The rest well grouped up at the middle one on the far side. Empire Steel on the far side. He's getting much closer under Brian Hughes. Game might be up for Sam's adventure. Now the rest are moving on towards uh, six ads. Sam Brown, Lord de Manil, Fortescue remastered. Empire Steel uh, out wide closer. Lakeview Lad coming under a drive. Kaluki waiting in the wings, Blue Jacket. Likewise, Royal Pagayu stalking Al Nadam towards the penultimate ditch, the last on the far side. And a mistake there from Al Nadam. Bridget Andrews was at the buckle end. So nine of them with Sam's Adventure pulled up still have some sort of a chance, though old Lakeview Lad, the nose bandit grey, looks as though he's feeling the heat as Sam Brown and Lord de Manil continue to dictate. Tom Scudam were safe just about every inch of turf going on remastered. He's been right around the inner on every rail. He's just angling for a better position now. Yellow sleeves with Royal Pagai inching closer against the fence. He's gone right up into fourth now. Charlie Deutsch removing a pair of goggles. They straighten inside the last half mile and they got four left to jump in the Peter Marsh. And now Scudamore comes wide right down the near side on remastered. Coming to press Lord de Manil and Sam Brown. Royal Pagai on the far side joining in with a prodigious leap there. And the leading four are just beginning to get away from Fortescue in fifth who's plugging on. Looks like Al Nadam is being pulled up and it's now Sam Brown and Royal Pagai who move on. Remastered has come under pressure. Lord de Manil's weakening away. Sam Brown on the left and Royal Pagai on the right. They're heading on down towards the second last. Remastered driven firmly by Scudamore trying to get on terms and beginning to plug on. Fortescue Orange Cap is back in fourth. Here's the second last. Royal Pagai jumps on from Sam Brown. Remastered Fortescue and Lord de Manil is a leaden legged fifth. Royal Pagai under his welter burden of 11.10. Sam Brown won't lie down, finding a bit more for Coleman's urgings. The final fence in the Peter Marsh. They're in the air together. Royal Pagai on the far side. Sam Brown on the near side. A slow motion finish with still half a furlong to cover. Royal Pagai. Sam Brown sticking to the task. Fortescue staying on Stoutley. Royal Pagai. Sam Brown is coming back at him. Royal Pagai nose down. Defies top weight. And it's back-to-back -back wins in the Peter Marsh. Sam Brown went down fighting in second, Fortescue third, and then remastered. Kaluki got round, and so too did Lord de Manil, but everything else failed to finish. One for the second time in a row, he joins us now. Well done, that was a fantastic result. <laughs> fantastic, wasn't it? Um, golly, he's a good horse. I didn't watch the race, yeah. <laughs> so I can't tell you what happened. You, I saw the last 100 yards. It was great. But look, he's a very good horse. Last year in the Gold Cup, he... he, he he tore off, I, I don't know what the technical term is, but he tore off like the front of his hoof. Hornet band. Is that what it what was? And after the race, he was so lame. It took him about three months to recover. He lost two shoes in the race as well. He still finished sixth. So we'll see what happens. But, you know, at that, at that, on that rating... And it's one of 163 today, so you, ha you have to have another go, don't you? You've got to have another go, yeah. And, and maybe this, the track doesn't suit him, but we'll have another go. Nothing else for him. And... Um, it's great stuff. And uh, can I say something? It's wonderful to be here. I've never been to Haydock. What a fantastic race course. The people are so nice. It's a lovely, lovely race course. It's fantastic. I, 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 I would run a flat horse here as well. It's almost like an American track, yeah. but it's fantastic. Anyway. You should come back. You will be back. Of course I'll be back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we haven't seen as many horses over the RC. Is that because of the, the, the way the weather's been? Well, we, we, well, it's a good question, actually. We, we, we've, we've struggled. I mean, a lot of our horses... I bought a lot of horses when um, Chickenstown left Willie's yard. Mm. A lot of horses, and they weren't very good. Mm. And we tried to try to support Willie. It was good. Um, last year, I was disappointed in some of them. We've had a lot of horses hurt. A lot of horses hurt or died, and um, we reloaded. We've reloaded a lot. I've got a good bumper horse. I hope on Thursday. And we'll see what happens. What's his name? Uh, his name's Mercury. Right. So Patrick likes him. So, oh, hello. So we'll, we'll try and do the best we can. Right, go co congratulate your winner for the Peter Marsh. Well done. Thanks very much. Cheers. Good to see you, lads. Thank you. Well, the guys uh, went back to back in the Peter Marsh chase uh, under Charlie Joyce for uh, informed Venetia Williams. Well done. That was a, a great performance under that way. Yeah, really great performance. Um, it was tough today. Uh, they went a good gallop and um, we couldn't quite travel like we normally do, so I had to just sit for a while and, and then I tried to make 
my way down the back straight and um, he managed to creep his way through, jumped very well. Um, he got close to one down the back and um, he was very good up the straight when I needed him. Um, he was getting tired up the straight and uh, he was he was tough and brave um, from the last of the line. I mean, he really needed to be. Sam Brown kept coming back and he needed to jump well and he, he was sure today. Yeah, exactly. Um, when I needed him, he pulled it out, which was great. And um, uh, yeah, that would have um, helped save me the race, really. If, it, if we made a mistake, then it it, um, it would have been difficult, yeah. Um, I suppose going to the Gold Cup again, obviously, uh, Rich Ritchie here saying he's going to go straight for the Gold Cup. You would love plenty of rain, just even, you mentioned about lying up early in a race. Exactly, we need the rain and um, we just need the pace to just slacken a bit. Yeah. Um, it's just when it's good ground and they fly around, yeah. um, it can catch us out. But uh, he is more confident with his jumping. So yeah. fingers crossed that'll help. A smart performance of a mark of 163. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.